you an alarm clock. If I don't get my loot in six days, it just won't rain. The foundation of our relationships is trust. Start spilling. If you don't trust the one you're with... From here on out, I'm rolling with an iron fist meat. They become a threat. How long have you known? What is it about the Flannery boys that has you acting like some kind of priest? Huh? Don't you say nothing to nobody. And I was starting to get a clear picture of everyone. What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your man, VKJ. And if you're new and you're loving BMF, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Definitely like, comment, and definitely hit that notification bell to make sure you get each and every video that we upload. So today we're going to go through episode three of BMF, What to Expect. Episode two was definitely off the chain. It was definitely crazy. And if you missed episode two, definitely go back, check out my recap for episode two, and absolutely you can get all caught up on that and also check out the recap on episode one. You know, we want to make sure you're up to date on everything so you don't miss anything. So episode two was amazing. And now we're talking about what's up next, what's going to be on the next episode of BMF. And I'm definitely enjoying everything that's going down with each and every character. This is an amazing story. So let's get into it. As we seen from the trailer, we see the OG Pat talking to Meech. They in the car and he's like, yo, this is the timer right here. And if I don't get my money, if I don't get my loot, I'm going to make it rain. All right, I'm going to make it rain. So obviously with everything going on with Terry being shot and all of that, um, obviously something's going on with the business where, you know, Meech definitely owes Pat some money. He definitely owes Pat some money. You know, within the last episode, we saw some of the product was definitely lost in a scuffle. You know, six thousand dollars from what Big Mickey, uh, B Mickey, was talking about. So of course, Pat is like, "Yo, I need my money. This is business. At the end of the day, this is grown man business, and I need my money. If I don't get my money in a certain period of time, something's going to happen." So of course, Meech. Is not playing. They're going to make sure they get that money up, get that bread up, whatever is needed. But at this point, you know, he's on a timer. He's definitely just clocking down. In the trailer, they're talking about trust. They're talking about trust a lot in the trailer. So, you know, they're going to get busy. You know, Meech, the whole 50 boys, they're going to get busy to get this money. There's definitely going to be a whole lot of, you know, exchange, hand-to-hand -hand exchange and what, what they do, you know, to get that money up because obviously Pat is not playing. You know, Pat has been the OG with them for a long time. You know, Pat is definitely from the streets and he's not messing around. So we also see now uh, Kato. She's in the bathroom uh, doing whatever she's doing. And for whatever reason, we see in the trailer some type of connection that is happening. Something is going on where I guess she got caught up because your boy Lamar rolled up in the bathroom. You know, Lamar has been playing chess to try to take out the 12th Street Boys and also to take out the 50 Boys. So, you know, he's definitely plotting and scheming and all of that. So he probably locked in the bathroom and he's like, yo, I want some information, whatever information that is. We're going to find out whatever information that is. And he wants more information probably on Meech and what they're doing, where the drop is going to be, who the supplier is, what's going on, because he's definitely trying to get to the top and he's pressing on Kato. And again, the trailer's talking about trust, right? Will Kato give up information on what's going down, where the drop is going to be, where they're getting their product or whatever the case is, whatever she knows, will she turn her back on the 50 boys? Of course, your boy Terry is back. He's out of the hospital. He got the eye patch on. But of course, Terry and Meech, they're back together on the street. And, you know, Terry, he's on another level now, right? He got shot in the last episode, right? He survived that. He's back on the street. He got an eye patch. But he's letting Meech know that coming up, going forward, you know, whatever's going down, listen, the way we're going to make this thing happen is Terry is not playing. He's like, yo, I'm going to rule this with an iron fist. You know, he's definitely not playing. And he's on a level where it's going to be on offense and not defense, it looks like, from the trailer. He's like, yo, we're going to rule this thing with an iron fist. We're not going to play around. 
we're not letting anything loose or anything, anybody come through and mess our stuff up. So we're seeing, you know, this whole transition happen. Meech got a lot on his mind and there's a whole lot that's going to go down in this next episode. Of course, we see Terry and LaWanda. LaWanda still, she's probably going to have concerns about all of this because Terry's coming out of the hospital and he's, you know, he's definitely on a mission to, to lock things down. He's like, yo, you know, uh, I'm going to rule this with an iron fist to Meech. But of course, she wants out of the game. She wants him out of the game. So we're going to see more of that. Charles obviously is upset. He got a phone call and he's asking Lucille, you know, how long have you known about this? So obviously she's been holding a secret. There's some type of secret that he's finding out about. There's something that she didn't tell him. And she obviously looks real surprised, like, oh, she got caught. That's what she looks like based on the trailer. I'm caught, red-handed, and all this and that. So we're going to find out what's going to happen in this next episode, episode three, as to what that secret is. Again, this is based on trust. It's all based on trust. Then you got Detective Brian and his partner, and his partner is questioning him, right? He's questioning him. What's the relationship? with these boys, with, with Meech and Terry? What is your relationship where you're now, you know, being a saint or you're now being like a priest? You know, he's questioning him. And of course, Detective Brian, he's not going to let him know what his relationship is. And it looks like, you know, something's going to happen where Detective Brian is going to gonna be exposed, right? He's going to be exposed a little bit by his partner here. But of course, Detective Brian, he probably not even going to have that. We see how he moved in the last episode. He's not having that. Mom rolls up on me, it looks like, and they're having a conversation in the car. And I think she tells him, from what I see, y'all let me know. I think she tells him exactly what's going on, what the secret is, and not to tell anybody, right? There's something, there's a deep, dark secret that she has been hiding for many, many years. Maybe she had a relationship with Detective Bryant back in the day. And that's why he's so protective over Meech and Terry. Who knows? You know, who knows what it is? But Meech definitely hears the news and she's like, don't tell anybody, you know. So now we're going to see, you know, again, we we see her talking to Meech in the car. This trailer was talking about trust. You know, the foundation of any relationship is trust. And as we see at the end of the trailer, Meech is like, I'm finding out a whole lot about people that I didn't know before. So we're going to see exactly what's going to happen. This is what I see happening based on the trailer. You guys let me know. Definitely comment below as to what you see going on uh, within the next episode, episode three. Uh, yeah, this episode two was amazing. So now we're talking about trust and secrets. So we're going to find out exactly what people have been hiding and exactly what is about to go down. So you guys know what it is. It's your man, VKJ. Definitely appreciate your love and support. Definitely continue to subscribe and to share and to like and to comment. Love having conversations with you guys. Uh, definitely Lamar is playing chess. So we're going to see what happens with that in this upcoming next episode three of BMF. You know what it is, fam. It's your man, VKJ. I'm out. Salute.